Okay, so... Uh... Yeah, in my mind I was kind of gonna... Do some... Bracer crafting, scrapping, disenchanting while we... Listen to the little... Talk there, but... Um... Yeah, obviously we are just... I wanted to keep the focus on... The call itself, so here we are. Still got a bunch of stuff in my inventory to process through. I, I like going this way because you can honor one Samdi. And you get the, this, this buff's kind of crazy. Anyway, what we're doing now is we're going over to the PvP area to see what recipes we can pick up with what we've got. Because I was able to unlock kind of all of the sinister pieces of gear, which, as you can see, are crafting for a pretty decent profit. And the rank threes will only increase that profit. So we've got 27 marks of honor to spend. We'll see what we can get. Trying to decide if the strategy should be buy all of the rank twos and then the rank threes, or specifically target rank threes. I'm actually thinking that maybe the rank twos is going to be the way to go. So let's quickly bring this back up and maybe decide. They all seem fairly even on their profitability across all the professions. Maybe the tailoring is a little bit less so. Did I? Oh, wow. I already bought pretty much all the tailoring ones. What's, uh, what's this embroidered deep sea cloak? Where does that rank three come from? Oh, Volden I revered. Okay. Well, this character uses leather, so I guess we'll just start with leather. So we want to do sinister leather. Buy all the twos. There's only three. Which ones did I not get? Okay, go ahead. Arm guards. We got. Did not get gauntlets. We got leggings. Got treads. And we did not get waste card. Okay, that's weird. There's a little bit of lag there. Male. Male arm guards. Anyway, anybody have any uh, questions about gold making that we could talk about? Well, I kind of go through. I know this stuff's a little bit dull sometimes, so just trying to think or see if there's anything we can sort of discuss or talk about in the meantime. All right, we got four left, or seven left. Um, so maybe, what's this one? Waste guard, male waste guard. And yeah, that's all of them, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a training montage here where we learn all of the, learn all of the things. Yeah, these these recipes are kind of interesting. Like the expulsum, you would think be the limiting factor, but it seems that the either the blue or the green material actually turns out that that's the case because these things have actually kind of gone up in price more recently, and that's possibly because the super sort of super bracer super bracer enchanting shuffle that. Samadan has so graciously educated us all on, has sort of taken uh, everyone by storm. And not that people weren't doing it before, or people hadn't figured it out otherwise, but it's, it's yeah, it's pretty incredibly profitable if you can get the stuff pretty cheap. So yeah, like coarse leather. <laughs> we need some coarse leather. Uh, okay. What's our strategy going to be here? I think we're just gonna queue up one of everything and see what the cost is going to be. So obviously this character doesn't have a whole lot of gold on them at the moment. So we're gonna need to probably do something about that. And actually, you know what? That estimated cost is not too big. Hmm. All right, well, let's go to an auction house. See what we can get. I also started to decide 
if these sinister pieces are going to stay on this character for the auction house or if they're going to go over to sort of my big crafted gear posting character. Probably go to the crafted gear posting character. This character uses a lot of inventory space with uh, bracers and materials and things. So space is certainly at a premium. I like this auction house over here the best. It's just the least busy, I guess. Not not busy in the sense that there's less players around, but more that you know there's not a big building you have to go into. It's all kind of out in the open. Less to sort of manage in that sense. All right, so buying from the auction house. Let's see how much this is going to cost. 85 coarse leather and 79 mist scale. Hmm. Do I really have that much? I mean, right? Oh, I just have a lot <laughs> of these things. Okay. I bought a ton at some point. Good. That's good. Good job, past Andrew. You're really looking out for future Andrew. Okay, so mist scales. We need 79 of them. Well, we're definitely going to buy up all these cheap ones. Bring our overall cost down. Yeah. Okay, great. That was enough. Then coarse leather, 85 of them. Yeah, it's a little little pricey. Maybe, maybe we're just going to pass on the coarse leather stuff for now. Do we even have enough for one? We do not. All right, so uh, leather arm guards. Review from that. Run over to the mailbox. One thing that I'm sort of working with and want to kind of wrap into some of my YouTube content in the near future is this idea that when you're trying to make gold and try to craft things to make gold, you're sort of building a process. And in order to do that properly, you sort of have to do everything manually first because that's how you really learn the ins and outs of it and how, you know, like how best to do things. Uh, Ryan Reckel said it best in his most recent video about transmog and that your TSM settings are really just an extension of what you would do anyway if you were making the gold. And that has sort of a, had a profound impact on my the way I view things. So for example, right, like I can manually just send these four items, five items, to the character that does all the posting, but, or you can just automate that. <laughs> all right, so BFA, we're gonna make a sinister group. I had to check my spelling on sinister. Add those. Interesting. Okay, so tide spray. Since I'm since I'm here, we're just gonna do a little bit of upkeep there. Now, the other thing that's interesting is if I open up my leatherworking, go to groups. I don't actually have all of the uh, the new recipes that I just purchased today, so we can create profession groups. And did that? Put them in here did all right great so items yeah it's a lot of stuff actually i'm gonna move this under leatherworking and then we're going to yeah we're just gonna select everything and get them out of this group yo what's up val sha one how are you doing this fine saturday you're just joining us for the crafting portion of the stream as opposed to the listening to the Activision Blizzard conference call portion of the stream. Which shouldn't be on the title anymore, but might. Anyway, doing a little bit of management of the sinister gear, which uh, I recently kind of acquired all of on this leatherworking slash tailoring character i'm doing quite well thank you for asking 
playing some World of Warcraft. <laughs> ATVI, yeah, pretty much. Uh, love them. Just update my subscribers, Rich. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're the guy. You're the you're the guy. You're the gal. Not actually sure. You're the you're the person. You're the player with the with the sweet ass subscription spreadsheet. Okay, so we gotta add all these guys. Actually, before we do this, I'm gonna make the specific group as well. Yeah, it's interesting kind of working to derive that information, which I, I think it's completely do doable with the the data that they do give you in the annual and the quarterly reports. And you can, the monthly active users for Blizzard is, is pretty darn close in and of itself. Okay, add this. 99% certain I'm with 5% margin error too. Yeah, that sounds about right, honestly, given uh, what's available. Alrighty, now what are we actually gonna do with this stuff here? So, mailing, I think. Hmm, not about crafting operations yet. But let's pull this up. And deselect everything, sinister, mail those. Oh, <laughs> oh, TSM. Uh, D. This filter for groups is, that's actually pretty cool. I really appreciate that. You know, it doesn't work. It's a cool feature. <laughs> oh boy, all right. Uh, that's... All right, cool. So that's that. There's plenty of shuffling to be done still, but since we're on the kind of sinister gear train, let's go over to the character we just sent him to and check up on them. Betting 50k gold, you're an accountant IRL. I'll take that bet, 100%. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I do the software engineering IRL. The accounting stuff is just a hobby, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but it is what it is. Oh, no sales. So sad. I know. I mean, compared to what some other people do as far as keeping track of things and accounting with this game, I it, my, the stuff I do pales in comparison, right? Um, just ran into a, another fellow gold maker yesterday on Twitch. Canadia, Canadia TV. Man, he's got some... Whew, he's got some serious stuff going on. A lot of work. He puts a lot of work into it. I I just have like, I mean, it, the stuff looks impressive, but it's really not. Here's ooh, do a. It's all the the weekly gold making data, tabulated in. This is the horrible formatting, and this is the the nice the pretty formatting. Had some help from a graphic designer to uh, make this little spreadsheet. He hates it because all the stuff's misaligned and the fonts are terrible, but hey, it works for us, right? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Mega Fox here has is, is got all my crafted gear posting stuff. The operation could probably use a little bit of refinement, but it's good enough. It's good enough for now. I'm sorry, Hydration Bot. I've just been drinking more coffee again. So that number is totally inaccurate. <laughs> I always forget I have the hydration bot going. It's pretty funny. Did you see this quote that I pulled from from Bobby while we were listening? I think this is this is just so interesting that he said one of the things that gets lost in the discussion of economic models is the player and game experience itself. Submit that without further comment. I, I don't know, man. I hope, I hope I can get a few more people to look at that because I'm really interested to hear what people have to say about it. All right, let's see what the sinister things are posted up for. That's pretty nice. Looks like some of these specifically want specific. The, the, the fixes on the bracers, I don't know what to call them. They have some some nice upcharges, the fever, fever lash, fever flare. That's pretty cool. Hopefully those actually do sell at those increased prices. That's a, a hefty chunk of change. You also said you wanted to take all the fun out of making video. Ah, yeah, so that quote gets thrown around a lot, and 
I remember looking into it and thinking that it wasn't... It was a little bit misrepresented there, but, you know... Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> he, uh, he could do a better job. Let's just put it that way. All right, cool. So that was, uh, that was pretty easy. Hopefully we'll get some sales on this character so we can get some more gold. I'm going to hop back over to the Priest Enchanter and do a little bit of, bit of work there. Bobby Kotick is the Devil Incarnate. Total Biscuit approved it. Did he now? I'm sure it's some very interesting proof. <laughs> Actually, I vaguely remember hearing something about that. Side note, it really irks me that all the characters on this realm are Blood Elves for me. And I know I have no one to blame but myself for that, but... I, I, I've been contemplating race changing my priest. Because, like, the Paladin, not changing. Blood Elf, 100%. Uh, Demon Hunter, no option. Death Knight, not actually a serious enough character, and the mistake's already been made. All right, let's 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 see this. An email here from Bjorn Schultz, and he says this: Hi, TB. I was wondering what are your thoughts on the statement from Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick? Wow, okay, man, stop, stop right there. That is not Blizzard CEO. That is Activision Blizzard CEO. And I might add that part of the contract was that they would not mess with Blizzard. So please, as much as I disagree with some of the decisions that Blizzard makes, never, ever, ever claim that the CEO of Blizzard is Bobby Kotick. Bobby Kotick is the devil incarnate. He is the enemy of gaming everywhere. The guy's never played a video game in his life. The smirking, smug grin on his face, I would love to wipe off with an implement known as a half brick in a sock. He is a disgrace to gaming developers. He makes EA look like angels on high. This man. Wow. So yeah, don't say that. But yes, he, he opened his mouth. This is a mistake. Unfortunately, he hasn't learned this yet. It's funny, you'd think that as a CEO, you would learn the value of keeping your mouth shut when everything you say is absolute total garbage. The inability to say anything that doesn't infuriate a massive, massive consumer base. Wow. It's a bit of a problem. <laughs> That is one of the aspects going off on that I guy. would look for in a CEO, the inability to not say stupid crap. <laughs> Apparently, in Activision's case, that is not the case. Well done. You have eclipsed EA as the most diabolically consumer-unfriendly, soulless corporate house All of right, so he's making a lot of claims here. I'm assuming there's some That's evidence impressive. to back this up. That's really impressive. I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. Truly, truly now, Bobby... I can die happy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and die. By the way, fall down a well filled with angry mice. Please. Please. Yeah, I know this is back yes, like I suppose when the, I'm quote the merger happened. If I'm not the problem with quoting Bobby Kotek is the fact that your mouth feels like it's on fire when you begin to enunciate the words. It's like some kind of arcane satanic incantation. So, I shall steal my soul for the Emperor. Oh, shh attempt to pronounce it in the way that Bobby Kotick would pronounce it in his off time, for we know that Bobby Kotick is in fact a demon come to earth. So let me emulate in my best possible voice the words of Bobby Kotick. What we've announced at Blizzard is that we have StarCraft 2 coming, Diablo 2 has been in production, and a new unannounced MMO that has a little more broad appeal. That was Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop it, stop it. Ah, stop it. Ah. God. Ne never, ever make me do that again. Oh, I feel my soul being rendered from within. Oh, God, I've just opened a page with Bobby Kotek's smirking face on it. Could, could that face be any fatter? Could that toupee of his be any faker? And could he look any more retarded holding that stupid plastic guitar? Oh, his face looks like a football. I, why, why is this even possible? I, you know what I don't get? How is it possible that a CEO earning six-figure salary cannot 
afford to eat reasonably, you know, reasonable quality healthy food that will not make his face look like so it's falling the off in rolls. God, I'm a gamer and I look infinitely healthier than this man. What Makes is his excuse? To not to look like a gamer if you're the CEO of a gaming Ugh. company, right? He looks sickly. All right, well, uh, it doesn't really prove that he's the devil. I mean, he just kind of said a bunch of things without providing any proof. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, 100% proof. Sure, there we go. You're right, you're right, totally. We got, we, we nailed the guy. Got him. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to try to get a little bit of expulsum on the, on the enchanter. I think there's a few things I want to use it for namely like well i haven't really decided yet but potentially the disenchanting rod i except i don't know i don't actually know about that thing but whatever i just want some explosive on this character okay end of story came from the uh azrite gear that I just chanted. That's that's the word for it. Okay, so there was some stuff in the mailbox we're going to need to deal with here in a minute. Did you ever watch my video covering my wanky spreadsheet, by the way? I don't think I have. I did not know there was a video, in fact. Maybe we should do that since, you know, we were just watching all of the... Uh, Activision Blizzard stuff. All right, let's actually, how are we gonna do this? How do we wanna do this? Uh, hello, wow, you okay there? <laughs> oh, did I really screw the pooch on this one? Nope, okay, we're good. Not even sub. I didn't know you had a YouTube, my friend. <laughs> Guys, welcome to another World of Warcraft video. Today, we're going to look at the subscription numbers for World of Warcraft. You may be wondering why we talk about this. We haven't. They haven't released subscription numbers since 2015. You're correct. However, from their vague terminology and words they've used in their and quarterly words reports for the investors, <laughs> we can infer a few things. Let's have a look. So let's go to the end of Warlords. They did say nothing, basically, in Q4 2015 and Q1 2016. This probably means they dropped a little bit, but ultimately must have remained around stable, because Final Fantasy XIV had quite a few players, I think about 3 million at this time, I could be wrong though. And in Q2 2016, they said they had double digit MAU growth, which probably means from anywhere from like 10,000 new players, or 10,000 subscribers, to 90,000. I rounded it up to 5.6 or 5.5 or so, and that seems about right. Now, Q3 2016, Legion launched. It was a very good launch. People enjoyed the game. The launch was smooth, buttery smooth, and all that sort of stuff. They said a 30% rise in Q quarter, uh, in quarter over quarter MAUs. Month active users, by the way. 5.6 plus 30% is 7.28, and I've added that to 7.3. Okay. They also said they had a 20% rise from Q4 2015. This is where it gets sticky because this is this number isn't verifiable at all. This is a best guess. So this is ultimately a best guess too. Oh, that's good Google Docs. Rise. Thanks for that's telling me how to copy and paste have, things. Basically. <laughs> In Q1 2017, Nighthold released, and so did 7.1.5. And what happened here was a slightly ahead of the prior rest back. I reckon I feel that this is two hundred thousand above, because at this point in time there was five point six million players. In Q2 2017, they said he continued the to form the prior expansion. Yeah. It was 5.5 .5 at this point in World of Warcraft. Google Docs has done great continued things. Continued to outperform, probably means it was likely stable, probably around 5.7 to 5.8 million. And in Q3 2017... So any reason you chose red for WAD? They simply said stable MAUs quarter over quarter due to the release of patch 7.3. This is quite simple. I reckon they stayed around 5.8 million subscribers. Q3 2017, they literally said, Q4 2017 even, they said literally nothing, which Demon probably means there was a slight right. decrease or a likely decrease That's down good. to around 5.5 or 5.4. I'm glad it's because of that, not because it was... 
Why the view does a terrible expansion? Team, I also said it overperformed Which is a point, point I could time against Walls of Draenor. It was on a strong trajectory. That probably means the numbers went up to a 5.7. That's what my guess is. Yeah, there it Future is. 2018, oh, man, they said the momentum remains high. Strong pre-orders Huge ahead of plan. Now, momentum remains high. That probably means a very slight increase. Uh, strong pre-orders, obviously, Battle for Azeroth did have 3.4 million first day sales, which is higher than Cataclysm, which have 12 million. However, you have to remember, 2010, people didn't pre-order as I much. Think the theming you is also a good had choice. people buying it from the shop like a week later, and all that sort of stuff. Now, ahead of plan. Cool. Then you have Beta for Azeroth, which came out in August 14th, which is Q3 2018. <laughs> Oh, they you. said nothing about the player base, but they did say engagement grew strongly. This basically means time spent in the game. Yep. However, engagement will only grow strongly if there's more players to play it, surely, unless the players who are also playing it just went absolutely mental during that few months. But I don't think that's the case. I think they had a very slight increase. Yeah, it's it usually the case that now, expansions are more people, so I think that's like pretty or accurate or anything like that, estimation. It's because the Blizzard overall... MAUs remained at 37 million. Now, that's a huge number, but you also remember Overwatch is probably number one or number two. Hearthstone is probably up there too. Yep. Heroes of the Storm is probably just below WoW and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I think now, you're giving World Heroes of the Storm too much credit. third place in the Blizzard hierarchy of players who are actually playing the game. 6.2 million subscribers. That seems about right for the launch of the game. And they will probably pick the highest number in that period rather than what it could be at the end of Q3, sure. which was probably not very good. Uh, August 29th, uh, I suppose it probably would be about the same. Q4 2018, though, they haven't actually published these data yet because the quarter isn't over yet. They will publish this data in February, and we can infer and predict. It's a pretty bold prediction, that. down However, to 3.5. My in game experience had left to just. I, uh, I think the newest the rate is. 4 million subscribers. Like, th- very Plus, you gotta if you consider the world first race in this stuff, because seriously, that that was that's a big deal. The EU version of the game was launched. Made me want to rate again. The EU version of the game was released in February two thousand and five. It had four point eight by Q three two thousand and five because all the Europeans came. Look at Holy that, crap. Yeah, I predict it will have four million by October or December twenty eighteen. Q one twenty nineteen, I predict it will drop again because I don't think. 8.2 will be enough. You have updated uh, the sense, right? Unfortunately, and this is the subscriber graph. No link to spreadsheet and video description? Out. What is everything this? Everything from here on inwards is complete prediction. Everything here is prediction. Everything before that, though, is real. Mm-hmm. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Especially these two here. These are both. Yeah, you got a lot of videos with my friend. The latest uh, actual inference. Preach I is guess. fake news. What? <laughs> so then. I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think the subscription numbers are at? We also um, have the Week Horrors leak that came out a few months ago, which was uh, 3.4 or 1.7. I don't think it's that low, but he, it's not that far off, I don't think. Anyway, you at, Van... hope you guys have a good time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to leave your comments about these uh, horrendous sub-numbers that I've come up with Savage, by the in way. the comments below. And if you find anything issues with this, I know there's a lot of issues with this, make sure to tell me as well. Feel free to shout at me all you want. Anyway, guys, I will shout at you Goodbye. all the time. I've reevaluated my 3.5 million. All right. It's good. I personally, I, th- I feel like it would be even more, but is it cool if I like show this and show this around? Oh, hey, you even got the graph down here. I, I'm hoping so. Assume that since you linked it there. Can I, uh, I'm going to make a copy of this. Oh, this is totally not the right uh, account, though. Making a copy. Just so I have a record of it. Excellent. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like this number is higher. But that's just based off of a gut feeling. Yep, we got that updated. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's interesting how like Blizzard MAUs have gone down too. I don't know. I was talking about it earlier in the when we were listening to the call, and like Blizzard 
just for WoW to be more effective, they just need to focus on making the game like something people want to play more. Like I don't know why they focus so much on the player engagement and time spent in game for a game that's literally paid for by subscription. Like it's just so obvious. Like why why are you doing it? Like oh hey these sold nice. But having trouble selling those uh, haste food things. Sweet. Do I have any more uh, jewel crafting things to purchase? It's 125, these rings. What, uh, what do I need to make for these? Oh yeah, that's why I wanted to expulse them so I could make some more of these rings, which are, if I'm not mistaken, actually, yeah, sell for pretty good profit. So right, we'll probably make some more of these rings now that we got some more expulsum. Restock our enchants. Uh, hit one of these buttons. Oh, I guess I gotta go to a mailbox too. I gotta mail off all the stuff that was just scrapped that this character doesn't need the cloth and oops bracer super shuffle did it actually send it did hooray great success order mar i'd go to thunder bluff but i don't actually know where any of the well I guess they're in like the main area in Thunder Bluff. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I have my little auction house I like over here. Okay, so let's bring up enchanting and see what the restock says. All right, that looks about right. Let's just do a little double checkerino. Auctions, blah, 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 blah. I, I'm always super paranoid that the restock thing doesn't actually work pro see <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not crazy not in this case tsm4 crafting restock is it's not a hundred percent you gotta kind of coerce it a little bit auctionator could represent <laughs> heck yeah i mean i do have auctionator installed um what what, 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 excuse me? I need gloom dust? Hello? What is the world coming to? Okay, guess we're buying some gloom dust. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a joke. Never thought I'd run out of that crap. What's my... Material cost is wow. Huh. Region average daily sold three thousand three hundred and fifty one. That's a lot. That's a really big number. All right, just buy a bunch of this gloom dust nonsense. That'll do for a little bit. It's too funny. I guess I'm not disenchanting. The greens that I get from doing the shuffle so that would be a, a big supplier of gloom dust if, if we were doing that like a little bank run here deposit some stuff oh too much grab those out too since I do actually need to keep some around for, you know, actual food and actual doing content. Too dumb for TSM crew represent. What do you, do you seriously not use Trade Skill Master? Because, like, man, you're missing out. You're missing out. Trade Skill Master is, I, I say this a lot these days, but despite all the flaws in TSM4, is it's still the best add on out there, hands down. No questions. Just too gosh darn powerful not to use. I just can't figure it out. I don't have the effort. Just flog my shit when I get it. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, more power to you. Whatever works. I don't want to get in the way of whatever works, but I'm just saying, if you take TSM slowly, approach it sort of one step at a time, like don't even make any operations. First thing, first step is don't even think about operations. Just 
Just use the information that's available to you when you open up this stuff and see like, hey, this makes a profit. I'm going to make a couple. Oh, I'm going to go up to the auction house. I'm going to post it for whatever the minimum price is. And then sort of naturally you'll be like, all right, wait a second. I can automate some of this stuff. And then you'll, you'll just figure it out as you go. That's sort of what I've been doing recently. Just keep it simple. The rest will come. Okay, so actually what I want to do right now is do some mailing. Why okay. did I not did I did I get rid of that enchanting? Okay. <laughs> Neat. All right. I use it for some stuff, like occasionally, but not preparations or stands and stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's fine, right? Like, use it for for what it's what you need it for, right? Like the you don't need to take advantage of every single feature of Trade Skill Master in order for it to be super effective. Also, I'm gonna take this head stuff for a minute because we do not need the sound in my ears at the moment. I'm just talking. Okay. Where are we at? Jewel crafting, chanting. Yeah, so this stuff is, it's all working out pretty well. We've got things, Sorcerer's Center, when is this? Uh, is this like a PVP thing? Eh, I can just go buy that at some point. Does this thing make a profit? No, probably not really something I'm gonna be interested in making. Probably not this thing either. Okay. Those are all just BOP things, Veiled Shatter, Disenchanting Rod, yada, yada, yada. Why is there no price on that? Oh, Hydro Course, I don't have a price, that's why. All right, fine. Ah, see, there we go. Chant Ring, Pact of Haste, sold already. Could probably just honestly sit here and keep reposting enchanting stuff all day and just make a ton of money. That's not quite as interesting, is it? Just have the thought. Check and see if there's any interesting world quests available for gold making. That's AP. Ooh, ooh, Viridium for Expulsum, you say? All right, we'll definitely want to do that. I should really just install one of those world quest add ons on this installation of WoW. That way I don't have to do the stupid mouse over nonsense. Is there anything there? No. And then I don't know, does. Do they spawn here? I don't think so. But like, no. I don't even know where profession stuff would spawn if it did on uh, that thing. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Uh, what did I decide I'm doing? Get some viridium. Viridium exact, because I don't want to scan for all the freaking Viridium nonsense. Do I have any? No. It's too bad, because I had like 200 of these, and then I think I just vendored them. <laughs> Three, four, cool. All right, so that'll be there for when next time we go over to Dizarre Lore. We'll get some more Expulsum. Oh, that's right. I remember now. We were going to make some jewel crafting rings. So let's queue some up. How much expulsum do we have available? 14. So we do seven of each. Let's do like three of each. See where that gets us. So those are all saying profit at the moment. Oh, nice. Another weapon and chance hold. All right. And we can go to. Oh, sweet. Guildbank's got the storm silver ore. Excellent. Excellent. Had some serious controversy in the last stream where I G quit on stream. <laughs> okay. Um, Royal Courts and Title Amethyst. I'm not going to make the cut because I'm not paying those prices for those. So Royal Courts, two, three, and Title Amethyst, one, two, three. Let's just up these numbers a little bit. And yeah, I guess we'll just buy the 10 stack and the Owl's Eye will buy the 13 stack. Why not? 
have a little bit extra. So probably get me some decent levels as well, which will be nice. Oh, right, guild bank. Move. Move. Or get in my bags. Get in. <laughs> okay, pretend you didn't hear that. Anything, any good procs? Looks uh, fairly normal. Nothing too crazy. This one wasn't great. Okay, so these ones are pretty decent because they're like 5k, and these ones are like about a thousand, which is sort of the default cost. Anyway, I hate to do this, but I'm only, I'm the only chatter. I gotta go. See ya around DSC. We'll see you around. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. And uh, it's fun to watch the little video. We'll be watching for more videos from you in the future. Have a good one. And yeah, never feel bad about leaving. Like, it's a stream. It's, it's not a big deal. I'm just doing this because I enjoy doing it. Okay. Check the groups first. See if we need to add any. Jewel crafting. Three tens. Looks like they're all already there. Excellent, excellent. And jewel crafting scan. Jewel crafting scan. Jewel crafting scan. Nice. Oh, hmm. got some repeats. All right, well, it's good to know, I guess. What did I want to look at? I wanted to look at revenue recently, just real quick and see sort of what's been selling. Let's do type auction. <laughs> what's up, Noah? Give me that face. Still hanging out? You're not playing WoW right now, are you? I haven't seen you on. These are all uh, pretty consistent sales. I don't know. Wish there was a way to group these things better. It's like... I don't know. I, I think this this part of TSM4 still needs some work. It's just not, it's not quite useful enough yet. I don't know. Well, it's probably good. Hop back on soon. You're going to do the new raid at all? Because it's actually pretty good. I have three of these on the auction house already. All right. Must be undercutting like crazy. I suppose that's all right. We can do a bit of undercutting. It's been a month or so. All right. I know you got that new job and all that's probably sucking up most of your time, which makes sense. Should have run this. Be good to run. Yep, yep, yep. What did we get this up to? 126. Nice. So that means we can learn some new stuff like these guys. And these guys. I actually get Kraken's eye. I don't actually know. Like a transmute, maybe? Contained in, prospected from, region four. Huh. So it's the raw gem that you get for prospecting. I wonder, should we take a gamble? Yeah, you know, the search for more time is always the, the eternal struggle. I hear you on that one. All right, I'm feeling lucky right now. Let's get some Kraken's eyes. What I tell you? Go for two. All right, that was a bit ambitious, but hey, there you go. We got one. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, this will be good because I actually need one of these for my gear, I think, because you know, like intellect is pretty good. <clears throat> You got to admit, that was pretty sick. First Platinum War ever prospected. I have no idea if it's actually profitable to do that, but that's sort of how you learn to do this sort of stuff. You just kind of just kind of do it, see what happens, learn. 
I'll turn in this expulsion thing first before I forget. And then we'll hop back on down to the jewel crafting trainer. Learn up some new recipes. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, get that expulsion and that jewel crafting level up. Not going to say no to that. I got to remember, I don't have <laughs> slow fall or levitate, I suppose, key bound on this account. Something I should probably fix at some point. Whatever. Take a couple extra seconds getting down. Who knows? This might actually be faster. To actually, you know, not try and use slow fall. That was actually really awesome. I'm really proud of myself on that one. Because what is damage reduction? Magic damage reduction. Boom. All right. So essentially, come back. Intuitive staff. Oh, that's good because I've had these stupid recipes sitting in my bags forever. All right, and then the Kraken's eyes, and then some more staffs, and then these guys. Those are the actual, okay, those are the BOP things from last tier. Might not even bother learning those, to be honest. Just kind of a waste of gold. Where's, there's gotta be like one of, all these professions have little sparkly things you can click on, get a little buff. Is there not one for enchanting? Huh. Surprising. Maybe there's like another one over here. Huh. Yeah, see there's like the sparkly thing that I clicked on and then. All right, well, I guess enchanters just don't get an extra thing. <laughs> Be happy with the jewel crafting one. Anyway. I'm just curious. But yeah, this does not uh, result in a profit. However, I just need one for my gear. So let's slot it in here because I'm pretty sure the weapon is. Well, actually, let's give this a bit of thought. What sockets do I have available? This is 3D5 cape, 310 gloves. That's actually a pretty good candidate. 3D5 shoes. Hmm. Let me do the gloves. Excuse me, what? Okay, there we go. It worked. Great. Sweet. Now, what else did we learn? We learned the staff things, the sinister staff, which is super duper not profitable. I'm guessing based on that pretty severe loss number that even with the added... Uh, recipe ranks it's not going to actually affect much it's too bad but we'll go learn them just in case you never know plus get it out of my inventory gotta work out an operation for my battle scarred augment runes these jewel crafting lock picks too are pretty cool like really handy especially if you're doing told gore oh do I not? Uh, okay, never mind. I thought I had some more recipes to learn, but it appears I do not, and I would need to spend the marks of honor to get them. And yeah, that'll be something we'll do eventually. I'm not really interested in wasting, and, and marks of honor are kind of a precious resource at the moment because I need a lot for the tailoring and leatherworking. Uh, although we do have a couple things we can do here. Thing to learn, which I'm sure isn't really that profitable, and then some transmog to unlock as well. Actually, kind of like this. I, I always like the the shirts for cloth users. I think that's an underutilized transmog option. Probably put this back too. in the ore section. Neat. Okay. All right, what are we gonna do now? Some more enchanting stuff. We can do, we can look through our jewel crafting stuff. Mm, I don't think so. 
There's that PvP option, but not super amped up on doing that solo. Okay. I'm trying to think. I could look into materials flipping. Something I've been wanting to explore as an option to kind of convert some of the gold I have on other servers into more gold on other servers. Mm. Materials flipping, yeah. Something to be concerned with when it comes to just buying and selling raw materials for profit. It's the auction house cut, the deposit thing that they introduced not too long ago. So, let's look at Umber Shards. So the idea is pretty simple here. And it's, you buy things when it's under a certain market price and sell things when it's over a certain market price. And that's, that's pretty straightforward. You know what, actually, let's not use Umber Shard. Let's use Herbs, because um, I'm using Umber Shards. I have a bunch of operations for it set up already. I want to look at uh, groups. Oh my gosh, come on, websites, please. View all groups. Look for BFA herbs. This one's got all those great. I wonder, actually, you know, I might even have this already. Uh, materials. Herbs BFA. How about that? Well, let's make sure we've got all of them because it looks like I don't have anchor weed on there, which is sort of weird. Herbs BFA, import, import, confirm. Groups, BFA, herbs, sweet, cool. <sighs> okay. Looks like we've even got some stuff set up already. How about that? Minimum price. Hmm. All right, so what we've got set up here is post cap 20, stacks of one. Post cap 20, stacks, or stacks of 20 with five of them and then one stack of 200. Let's up the, let's up this to like five, not 85, Oof, that'd, be, <laughs> that'd be a lot of herbs. And then, I guess we should probably change the name to be consistent. <clears throat> and then doing a stacks of one is where this is all getting controlled. So, okay, I'm fine with the first operation here. We wanna do minimum price is like 95. So what we're going to do is make a purchasing operation. Well, we're, bas we're basically going to only buy at under um, 80%. So we're going to make a new one of these, 80% DB market, which will give us, is that 15% profit margin? That's pretty good. 0 0.80. That's pretty reasonable. Okay, so now show auctions about max price. No, and we want to. Cool. All right. Also, another thing we need to check is that these are matching stack sizes. Good, 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 good. That's important. It's very important. So, posting details when it's under, below the minimum, post the minimum. Okay. All right, so yeah, I think this is pretty much set up with like sort of a basic materials flipping thing. So now let's go and add it, add a shopping for 80% DB market. And let's just kind of see what happens here. So shopping, deselect all, and we're gonna shop for herbs. 
see how long this takes. This might take a while because herbs are obviously pretty high volume products. So important to note this number, this percentage over here is the percentage of our maximum price that we're willing to buy the item for, not the DB market or anything. So for us, it's 80% 80, 80 of the DB market price. And yeah, I'm just gonna kind of do this, see what happens. And this is sort of what I mean when I talk about, you know, starting simple and building on building on things because, you know, this, this is a new thing for me. I'm just sort of learning this stuff. So we're, I'm just gonna try it out. I mean, this isn't, this won't be a huge investment. Let's actually just expand all these and see how much we're looking at. Okay, so for Siren's Pollen, that's that's pretty significant, right? Like. Wow, it's quite a bit actually. So maybe we can, you know, buy out some of these smaller stacks. Maybe a few of the bigger ones. I mean, ninety-seven percent. That's pretty close. But again, anything that shows up on here is still going to be within making a profit for what we're selling. Okay, so maybe that's that's enough there. Let's buy out some of these stacks. This is definitely the kind of thing that I can see breaking out into a different uh, character. So these ones are really, like the C stocks are really close to market value or what our minimum purchasing price is. But I think we can get away with just buying all these out. And then I don't wanna buy any more because that'll start draining my resources quite a bit. So just spent quite a bit of gold on things like Akunda's Bite. Mm. Maybe maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that was a <laughs> something that we're gonna have to learn from. We'll see. We will see. I'm, mm, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. If not, we'll eventually use it to craft some stuff, right? But if not, then we just uh, paid for some good experience and that's fine. Materials, herbs, post scan. We'll see what happens. See what the trade skill master says to do based on what we told it to do. If you're just joining us, we're doing a little bit of experimenting with some raw material flipping. Oh, actually, that was one more thing I wanted to check is the order in which I have the auctioning operations set up and it should be not like this, actually. It should be the other way around. So we want to do our biggest stacks first. So it shouldn't really matter too much, but basically you wanna like get everything up and then like the smaller amounts and then the smaller amounts. It's a basic idea of doing it like that. Okay, so some of these are indeed below the minimum price. So we're just gonna be posting at our 95% market value straight up. And what did we set the duration to. I'm pretty sure it's 24 hours, which should be just fine. So, yeah, 24 hours. That's pretty com I'm, I'm pretty confident with that. Because we're going to be doing some like pretty stacking and, you know, below min price posting. I don't want it to be 12 hours. I want to give it like 24. I think that seems right to me. All right, so some of these are we're undercutting probably because of pretty stack. Some of these are not. You know, man, would it be so hard to just show like what the stack sizes I'm posting here are? I mean, like, come on, come on, TSM. Do I have this bound? I do, thank God. I mean, I guess when you click on it, you can see, but I mean, shouldn't have to, shouldn't have to do that anyway. But there is a workaround. This is, I kind of hate this, but it is what it is. Just put the information in the name of the operation. Just too bad. Cause I, I kind of like the little naming convention I was going with with like the the numbers and things, but it's okay. Those don't really make didn't really make much sense. This makes a lot of sense. Or this makes more sense, I should say. Somebody who wouldn't necessarily know what I was thinking when I made the thing. Okay, so then uh, yeah, we got some leftover stuff that we're not going to post up yet because I bought too much. Okay, uh, you know what? I think. The next step here is actually gonna be trying this across a few different servers. 
because that's sort of the reason I wanted to do it in the first place. This will be a good opportunity to utilize uh, TSM exporting and importing functionality. So that'll be nice. Import export. Let's go to herbs BFA. And I want to export. I want to export materials herbs BFA. Okay. Uh, include attached operations. Yes, 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 yes. Looks good. All right, cool. Okay, let's change off of Area 52. Okay, so we're gonna try probably Dark Spear, Garona, Hydraxis, and Hygel, I'm thinking, to start with. Because those are the realms where I have some gold, but not enough to really be effectively BOE flipping. Let's see, while we're doing this, we can probably do something useful like mass craft some stuff. Do I have a, uh, a notepad? Mm, fine. Okay, TSM. Oops. First of all, let me make sure I'm on the right settings here. Pet servers, good, good, good. Oops. Randoms, multiples, professions. Let's look for, let's make materials. I don't think I spelled that right. That's okay though. Thanks. Mm -mm. Materials. Imports. Imports. Confirm. Groups. Materials. BFA. Nice. Sweet. So now all we got to do is boot up the old shopping operation and run it. See what happens. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, so similar stuff shown up, Akunda's Bite, Riverbud, Sea Stock. You know, it might make sense, <laughs> it might have made sense to do a bit of research on what all these things are used for before I started doing this but uh, that's no fun. We're just gonna kind of dive into it and learn as we go. Okay, so River Bud, this is interesting. I think, I think the strategy for these guys is actually going to be buying up the smaller stacks of things, leaving the big stacks, because I don't think I can compete with those big stacks. That's just way too much volume to try and move effectively, or to move, like, to reset, I guess, sort of effectively. So if we buy up some of the smaller stuff and then just post with our smaller operations, I think that'll actually result in some sales. It'll be a little, not, won't be a ton to start with, but that's okay. All right, I want to do bracers and I want to make 868 because that's how many back slots I have available. Yeah, see that's, you know, it's going to be some pretty small time, small, small time stuff to start with, but it's okay. We're just doing proof of concept at the moment. Sure, we can do everything. That's not a problem. Not that you know we don't. Mm, why don't we have the stuff? What the heck? What's going on here? Materials BFA. Group operations. Uh, what? Hello? TSM, you okay? Um, I'm very confused. I think it's pretty clearly there. Let's try reloading. It could just be a bug where that stuff doesn't update. <laughs> I don't know. I, I hope it updates now, because otherwise that's... Not good. Just like to load in. Professions. Materials, BFA. Oh, no, okay, I know I know what happened. I know what happened. I just didn't reselect it because when you add a new group, it doesn't, it's not automatically selected in the auctioning, auctioning operations list. Totally makes sense. Below min price. Okay, interesting. So there were some 
there were no stacks of my the ones that I have set up for Akunda's Byte, so that's pretty cool. We get to post some pretty stacks at our normal price. Okay, so then, uh, yeah, there we go. Bunch of stuff up there. We'll see if it sells. I wonder if I river bud, does that automatically update? It does not automatically update this. That would be really cool if it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Again, like I totally realized that the amounts we're dealing with here are fairly inconsequential. This is more just a proof of concept to see if we can get away with doing any of this stuff and, you know, try and learn some stuff about the market. Okay. Send off some bracers. Sure. D E. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder why only one of those showed up. Get back to Dazara lore. Oh, actually, real quick before we do that, I wonder if that expulsion quest is available for this character as well. It doesn't look like it. I wonder if it expired or it just wasn't available. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let that load in. Oh, looks like we got mail. Maybe something sold. I hope something sold. That'd be great. Nope, nothing sold. Sad day. <laughs> yeah, this uh, Garona doesn't have a ton of gold at the moment, so the flipping is going to be hopefully a nice way to start building up some capital. Battle pets have not sold too terribly well over there. Ooh, that was a close one. Cue all scrap. And TSM is crashed in the game. I, this does actually recover eventually, but um, I don't have the patience for that right now. At least in my experience, it, it does wind up recovering. Hard resetting though, much quicker. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Well, many guys. Matt, 1,000 comment karma on Reddit. Boom. <laughs> what a milestone. Scrap, 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 scrap. Everybody. All right, let's search for, come on, <laughs> we can do this. Right. Uh, that's alchemy materials. Interesting. This is not. Ha. Well, that would explain it. Wrong TSM profile. Materials BFA. Yeah, there's a, a fairly significant amount of gold making that's. Sort of this boring stuff, you know, just just grinding, really. Interesting. So there's not a lot of stuff under my lowest market price for these guys. Very interesting. Hopefully that's that means there's lots of opportunity to make some pretty nice margins on these items, even if the volume's not very big. Sort of works out since I don't have a lot of capital to work with on this server anyway. In fact, I'm a little curious. Let me just look at Ankweed on the whole. Yeah, great. Okay, so I got a really nice deal there. And I'm going to be able to flip this. Well, hopefully if it sells. Keep the scrapping going. <laughs> okay. So undercutting, bloom in, normal. 
little nice little smattering of different uh, operations to do and we don't have the scroll wheel bound row -ro. let's go ahead and uh, let's take care of that now settings macros up down control update okay back and uh, yeah, I guess we just select all and post up some battle pets too because we got them, might as well try and sell them. I'm, I've been fairly disappointed with the success of these battle pets. It, uh, it's a lot of work for not a whole lot of payoff yet. And uh, people like this bad boy here, yeah, make it a, a tough market to encroach upon. Okay, well, um, oh, I, sh I should have checked my total posted auction value before I posted up the battle pets, but alas, I did not. All right, so Hydraxis is another one that I want to look at since I don't have a ton of gold there yet. I think maybe 20,000 or so at the moment. So again, not enough to really start flipping anything, but enough to, not, sorry, not enough to start flipping BOEs. Or high value things, but hopefully enough to do some herbs. Since that's what we're testing out. Scrap, scrap, scrap. What the scrap? Oh, look at that. <laughs> the court scribe that I put up for a ridiculously low amount of gold finally sold. I'm glad that that happened. Okay, shopping. Wrong profile. <laughs> This is good, this is good. I'm catching things that I should have caught a long time ago. And materials BFA, perfect. And 95 bracers, 95 more bracers. Oh, don't have enough to make 95, so create all. Wow, we're actually running out of Tide Spare Linen. Sweet, can go buy more. And, ugh. TSM4, man. Actually, you know what the problem is? It's that uh, the voice proxy thing. I don't know if you guys see that when you're using the auctioning operations, but like it'll hang for a while. Then you get that yellow message in the chat. It's like, voice proxy disconnect. And you're like, why does it even matter? I'm not using voice on my auction house characters. Come on. Let me just turn this off. It'd be great if you could. But alas, I don't think you can. Do not think you can. Let's see what's going on in the WoW economy subreddit while we're waiting on our TSM installation. Oh yeah, this is important. I probably need to make an addendum to my on the weekly gold thing because I, I mentioned these as a potential gold making opportunity last week, but it turns out the dresses and the shirts are indeed bind on pickup this year, so can't really farm them now. Kind of sucks. 500 triumphs in less than 25 minutes. Okay. Speed alt in the Everbloom. Nice. I do like that speed alts are kind of a thing. Like, it's... It's sort of an unfortunate solution to a problem that really shouldn't exist, but it's kind of a neat little kind of niche, I guess. Why? I don't understand. Some things I just don't understand. Yeah, like I said, TSM4, still really rough around the edges. Still the best add-on out there. Drives me nuts that you can't turn off the voice. I know, it's it's unfortunate. Hey, but it, look, there it goes. It did actually come through in the end. And yeah, not a whole lot of great opportunity here, but we are going to buy this stuff up and continue the experiments. What voice? So yeah, in I think it was in Battle for Azeroth, released the 8.0. Blizzard, you know, re-released a new in-game voice communication, which you know is like it's cool. Nobody uses it, just like nobody used it the last time they did it. And uh, yeah, see if we can like I don't know if you can see. It says lost connection to the voice chat service, restored connection to the voice chat service, and while that was happening is when the game was frozen and I couldn't do anything. So it's very frustrating. Very annoying. But what are you gonna do? All 
I tried for a while to kind of, you know, make it happen, make voice actually happen, but, you know, like hop in voice when I joined pugs, but nobody cared. So womp, womp, womp. Is the, uh, that's the takeaway from that. All right, on to the next realm. What did I say? Emerald Dream? Ooh. I did not say Emerald Dream, but that is actually what I meant. Because that's another server that I've been struggling to get BOE flip money for. Cool. Let's go over here. Oh, actually, what I need to do is update leatherworking, scrap, group operations, mailing. Yeah, definitely don't want to be doing that. Because that's my, like, gear posting character. Okay, don't want to be doing that either. Okay. Some guild members kept adding me to a voice channel. Can be useful in two voice channels at once. Discord Blizz voice. That, yeah. That's true. That is very true. Yeah, I'm certainly not denying that it has its uses, but uh, its overall adoption by the community has just been non-existent. Which is too bad. Too darn bad. Got a lot of deep sea satin. How much, what do we need in order to make these? Ha, nothing, we have them already. Beautiful. Yep. We get 53 of those. Cool. All right. So this character doesn't have any items at all. Materials be a fan. Run shopping scam. Oh, nice. I'm actually leveling up tailoring too. That's good. Not sure what I actually need to level it up for, but I, I guess it's good to be maxed out on professions. Okay, wow, that's a lot of river bud. Cool, all right, so we're gonna go probably a little bit aggressive on this server and buy out any of the smaller stacks. So, I mean, we're certainly not gonna be able to compete with the 200 stacks, but I think we can kind of sneak in there with some some pretty stacking. At least that's the theory. We're gonna we're gonna test it out and see if it works. You can disable it, but you can hide it with, you can't disable it, you can hide it with UI changes. Sure, yeah. That unfortunately doesn't solve the issue of <laughs> the, the service trying to do things in the background and messing with my uh, TSM posting. Okay, we definitely need to buy out these ones because that's gonna mess with our pretty stacking. If we don't, two, two, 15, five. We're probably gonna have enough to be posting some 200 stacks. Okay, Star Moss. Sure, sure, sure. Winter's Kiss. Sure, sure, sure. Boom. Sea Stocks. Mm, screw it. I'll leave those 200 stacks alone. All right. There we go. Just dropped a bunch of cash. Let's see what happens. Disable the service. You mean like go into like task manager and try and disable it that way? Is that could potentially work? That's a lot of epic bracers. Groups. Uh, satin bracers. It's tailoring. S D. Got them all in there. Fantastic. D. Send. I wonder. TSM4, man. Okay, if you don't have the groups expand, it doesn't show up in the search when you search for it. That's just... I don't know what to think about that. All right. Okay, so we got to think about a strategy here because we're definitely going to have enough 
of some of these items to be posting in stacks of 200. We're certainly not gonna be able to compete with the 200 stacks. So, what we're gonna need to do is not use this at the moment. I think if there's a good way to sort of turn it off without having to remove it. I mean, do we just use a different profile? I mean, I guess we do. Flipping, no, no, 200 stacks. And then we want to duplicate this, go into here, materials, BFA, I haven't played around with it. Test manager just since I suspect it will keep relaunching itself. That's kind of my suspicion as well. You'd probably have to you know, mess with the registry or something to keep it from um, from doing that. Okay, so we want to do like that. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but whatever and auctioning and go Let's see what happens all right what can we do over here anything we can leather work nope need tempest hide and mist scale need coarse leather need mist scale oh amount of expulsion interesting very interesting well, uh, we could go buy some more freaking Tide Spray Lemon and get some more Expulsum. Is this working? Okay, it is. Sweet. Can never tell. All right. Yeah, we'll see how that works. All right, last realm. I want to look at Moonguard, actually. It's one I haven't actually touched in a while. Because, uh, yeah, Moonguard. RP servers are very interesting economies. I was under the assumption when I first started doing this whole cross-server battle pet thing that they would be pretty good and good money makers, but it's been the complete opposite. They've been very, very difficult to break into. Emerald Dream, as you can see, I didn't have any items at all. Just, just more profitable and <laughs> the and Hygel, or sorry, not Hygel, Moonguard, as you can see as well, are, yeah, no bueno. So we need to change profiles to uh, pet servers. Run shopping scan. Let's see what we got. I don't see it in the registry out. Right. Hmm. Have you Googled around to see if anybody else has uh, any advice on it? I think it's like WoW voice proxy, I wanna say. Well, okay, so the process itself is World of Warcraft voice proxy. And work folders. Yeah, I don't see it in services. WoW voice proxy. Yeah, that's what I got. Sea stocks. I don't have enough gold. Wow. Okay. Well, how about this one? Sweet. I guess we're doing sea stocks. <laughs> Might as well post this thing up as well. Yeah, maybe flasks might be a better thing to try and do some flipping with. Can't go wrong with flasks. People always need their flasks. All right, we're going to get this thing posted up and then probably wrap things up for the day. Things are dragging on a little bit, and uh, yeah, I got to go, you know, deal with real life stuff. Leave the gold making for another time. There you go. All right, yeah, we'll be checking in on this stuff. We'll probably leave some updates on Twitter. We might, maybe we'll talk about it in the, the weekly update as well, just to kind of keep track of things and see how it goes. 
But until next time, first off, what do you guys think of this transmog? Is it not the coolest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> and yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. We had a good time. Not sure when the next time I'll stream is, but check the YouTube page for more videos. going to post these, this VOD and the last VOD as well. And yeah, if you want to find me on YouTube, Darkshore Capital, Twitter, same deal, Darkshore Capital, at Darkshore Cap. I got an email address. If you want to email back and forth, we can talk about stuff or obviously on Twitch, Darkshore underscore capital. That's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>